Why, hello! Hello! So today we're going to be taking a small co a director's commentary or whatever thing about Annoying Villagers 33. And then maybe I'll talk about a little bit about Annoying Villagers 37, which is like the most recent one. Annoying Villagers, which you probably already watch. Go watch it! It should be out already since I made this. So we'll be talking about um, some of my thought process about how I plan Annoying Villagers 33 and how it ties up with Annoying Villagers 37. And yes, we'll be talking about Grave. Wow, Grave, we haven't seen them. Like something very weird, I, I, a trend I'm, I'm noticing. Like every Annoying Villagers episode, there's people that ask, Okay, for example, if the, if the episode is about Boop and Mr. Punch Monkeys, there'll be a bunch of comments like, Where's Steve? Where's Steve? I want to see Steve! Where is he? And then, like, then the next episode will be about Steve, and then people will comment, Where's, where's Mr. Punch Monkeys? Where's the... I'm like, what? I thought we already established that we're switching storylines and stuff. Where's the episode 37? Why did you not notice this? Oh, no. No, actually, yeah. It's understandable. It's it's a really confusing story, so I I understand why there's kind of a lot of that. But then like I don't know, I think it's funny because like I don't know. Okay, let's start. Just as I all right, okay, like, well, let me explain what happened because you might have forgot. Grave is fight facing off Steve, and then Grave uses this villager weird villager mask item, which hides his identity as a player somehow, and then he tricks villager knights to fighting with him to fight Steve, and then Steve. It's sad. <laughs> wow, what an amazing summary! Whoa! You're so amazing, Mr. Fajrangi! You finally get a chance to use the Zaya. So, like, one thing about annoying villagers. I must make it very interesting! Super interesting! Because, like, I need... Well, because I'm making making it, and then, like, it's so much work, I need it to be very interesting, so that I am very interested in making it, and then, so you guys are interested, so then, like, the idea is that, like, they have to have very clever strategies, like, Grave, like, um, if we looked at this episode before, like, before Grave put on the villager mask, right, you will be like, oh, it's a normal fight between Grave and Steve, but then we already saw that in Annoying Villages 28! Right? We already saw that. But then now, we're seeing, like, another one. We're seeing... Wait, was it 28? Yeah, it's 28. That was the previous episode of Annoying Villagers 33. But then, like, yeah. So then, Grave popping on the villager mask. It's like, whoa, what is this? Whoa! It's like so... It's like a clever scratch. Like, um... I mean, so, like, it's like a normal pixel face of the villager. So then you understand this is a villager? He's supposed to be a villager? Because it'd be pretty weird if it was, like... Like the, like the villagers, like the normal villagers, like with the moving eyes and stuff. Okay. Huh? What is that? That's and then like, as, as, um, uh, Steve, he's like the character that we're following. And then he's also clueless. So then he, you can hear, hear him questioning it. And then you, you, you get to learn about it as we progress. Sort of mess. I said, oh my goodness! What is this? It's cause like um the cliffhanger for Annoying Rails 28. It was like, oh wait, like, we should probably look at that before. Previously on Alright. That's in order. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes! I will save this world. Alright, okay, this is Annoying Rails 28, and then like um Did you see that? Um this scene? Do whatever it takes. Whatever. I thought it was very an interesting character development that like takes. two characters they're fighting each other but then they have the same goal. That is very interesting to me. So then I did that. I will save this world. It's like how can you have the same goal but then you're not working together but then you're fighting each other and then like you later you learn that they have different methods of trying to achieve their goals. <laughs> Go on ahead and trans- Oh yeah, so oh yeah, Steve and Grave are fighting each other and then the other players- Oh yeah, they just killed the Poop Girl and Poop- Poop Girl and Poop Boy- <laughs> Who came up with these names?! Poop Girl and Poop Boy, Grave just killed them. And stuff. Oh yeah, Poop Girl underscore love and Poop Boy underscore trucks. Wow! For those items. And then you see like the cliffhangers that like Grave and Steve are fighting and then you see it knowing uh, villager scouts are coming. 
I'll finish him off. And then, um, I don't know, I really liked, uh, I don't know, trick your expectations. Because, like, um, I saw a lot of comments about, like, uh, during this episode, um, 20, on 28, they said that, Ah, Steve and Grave, they're gonna team up and fight the villager knights. And then in my mind, I'm like, no, that's not gonna, what's gonna happen. It's because, like, I already planned this, the 33 episode already, right? It's like, of course, Steve and Grave will not team up. They hate each other. <laughs> Even though it would have been beneficial for them or whatever. But now we're going to be stubborn and fight each other. I'll catch up with you. That's in order. I know. No. And it's like, the players are counting. Okay. Go! You heard his order. Sight, yeah. Yes. Let's go. And then, like, the map <laughs> thing to show you where everyone... Ah, see Poop Girl and Poop Boy? I have Poop, yeah, Girl, and then the boy, and then the random pig, and then the villager knights are coming. And then, wow! And <laughs> now. <laughs> I know. Do you know that's like the the end now and then the coming up? Is, that's like Steve's voice. I'm sorry. I'm trying to show you that like Steve is retelling the story of Annoying Villager, sort of. But then like it kind of doesn't make sense because like the, about the other storylines. But then it kind of does make sense because like maybe Steve meets them and then they tell the story and stuff. And plus that'd be really weird if like Boo was like coming up. All right. Okay. Random tangent. Whoa. Oh. Work together. Let's eliminate that play. That's possible. Uh. Chat. Power. Uh, he doesn't, doesn't trust, trust me. Please, there's no. One thing I really like about like I yeah I don't know I think everyone would like this but then like I really like super, super, super like clever sneaky like very weird strategies like different like war strategies and stuff like fighting moves and stuff. Time. You, like you see, you'll see like uh. I probably won't show you it you know, like on this video, but if you go watch Annoying Villagers 37, you'll see the drown. He has a, has very interesting fighting strategies and stuff. And then Steve also has very interesting things to do. Like, um, for example, Steve uses like an enchanted wooden door and stuff. And then like, I don't want it being Annoying Villagers to be like a stupid, just a stupid brawl. I want it to be a psychological battle between the characters also. Wow, you're doing it in Minecraft? I sure am. I sure am. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like, uh, you probably already know that, like, um, if you're a fan of anime, well, no, I'm a fan of a lot of stuff, but, like, I really like anime, I like the, like, really deep psychological animes that, like, it, like, I don't know, it's like, like, chess, sort of, but then, like, I also want to, I want to do it with, like, a, I don't know, because, like, I find it interesting, so then, like, yeah, that's a struggle of creating animation, you have to try to create animations that you enjoy, so then you have you have more motivation to do it. It's, it's kind of hard to like create, work on something for so long if you really don't like it. And then, I don't know. And then of course you want uh, life to be more enjoyable. Well, I don't know, it's like um, creating animations in general is like always uh, kind of really grindy, but like. I must do it for the love of animations and beauty and art. Ooh. Oh my God, you're so crazy right now because you're recording this at night time and now you're talking to yourself well you're supposed to do a, a commentary <laughs> i'm not editing this i'm not editing this video because i'm lazy must eliminate this player. i just finished i just oh no i sort of just finished annoying villagers 37 and like prepping prepping all like you guys don't know like all the behind the scenes stuff i have to do like i have to like i have to do all this like like, uploading it, I have to clean up the sound and do the subtitles. I do the English subtitles and then other people who are very kind do the subtitles, uh, translating subtitles in different languages and stuff. It's very... Thank you if you are one of them. Fast as possible. And then, like, thank you guys who, you guys for supporting me and stuff, but... Uh, oh man, we didn't even, like, get to, like... The pass is already gone, player. Oh yeah, this episode, like, a lot of people consider... Annoying Villagers 33 to be their favorite episode, and then I try to top it with Annoying Villagers 7. Well, I try to top it every episode, but then, like, it's kind of hard to top it if you like Steve, and then I can't top your fa your favorite because, like, you like Steve. I can't top it with, like, a, like a boop episode because, like, you don't like boop and you don't like Steve, so then I can't top it, right? But then, like, I don't know, maybe I top it if you like all of them evenly, but, like, it's, that's uh, highly unlikely.
So I try to top a Steve episode with a Steve episode. You get me? Villagers. And then like, um, so you see this episode was used to develop Steve also like his, his thoughts and his beliefs and his philosophy and what he's trying to do and his goals and stuff. And then you see how it comes in conflict with, um, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. You can see it's a good parallel with, uh, so this episode you saw Steve's conflict with Grave, sort of. But then, like, they don't really, well, I don't know, they kind of talk and then they kind of fight also. But then you see next episode with Steve and the Drown. And it's very interesting that, like, they all have very similar goals. Like, Steve and Grave, they want to, like, save the world some, so some sort of way, right? Grave is more about, like, the player, sort of. Spoiler, yes. I don't know, I think it's really loud. And then Steve is trying to save everybody, sort of, from Pear O'Brien or whatever. And then the Drown is doing something, a, a, another spin on that, that saving goal, right? Then he wants us, like, save the world. And then he sort of doesn't care about, like, um, the other, like, characters that don't help him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spoil you of my thoughts. Like, the goal of creating animation is for you guys to interpret your story yourself. I don't want, like, as a creator, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to tamper you, right? I want you to come up with your own, your own theories and stuff. We're the Wait, of legends. Around. Those type of people. I know. I really like to use like flashbacks to develop Steve also, because like you get to learn about his past and stuff and stuff. Who lived their lives for others? Wait, 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 wait. Who changed this okay, player? He crypted. It. it says something. Uh, about okay, this is like another clever thing I wanted. To, I did. Oh, I don't know. I thought I was pretty clever. It's like uh, using the chat. It's a Minecraft, my annoying brothers is a Minecraft animation, so I need to do Minecraft mechanics. Right? Even though, like, I wanna. Yeah, I, I rather use a lot of my own mechanics, but then, like, it's cool to see, like, the Minecraft mechanics there. Full is coming, and it's neither a player. Well, that's right! Wow! Let's keep it that way. Let's just go to stat. So where is that? What? I don't know, I thought this was a really good idea to do a commentary about this. Oh yeah, you can check out my Patreon for a commentary. Oh yeah, very big, in-depth, more commentary about Annoying Village 37, but then, yeah, we'll do these random commentary behind the scenes stuff on Mr. Fudge Monkey Games once in a while. When I forget my word. Well, he's like, well. What? <laughs> but I assure you, don't make any sudden moves. Better way to just a fool with silk oh, yeah, I remember this comment I read on Annoying Reels of 30, 30, I mean 33, which made me laugh. It's like, um, they saw the, the chat with Grave and Steve, and then someone's like, oh, someone probably thought it was a couple arguing. <laughs> what? Aren't couples supposed to be nice to each other and not argue? What? I thought these notices the tree is floating. The tree is floating. Oh my goodness. Why you do all these mistakes in your video? Oh, I don't think I don't think anyone caught this one because like it's kind of kind of blended in, but then I can notice that I notice it. Oh, decent that we all can be reasoned with. The truth is, most of us are just monsters. How? Oh. Some people really like grave. Like I see a lot of grave lover comments. Like I see a lot of like Harrowbrand lover comments, but then I see a lot of grave lover comments. Wow. I had another comment I recently read, like, Grave is not a Patreon. Grave is like a character I came up with, sort of. It was like, um, I wanted a character that was like, sort of like Steve, but then like, not like Steve. But then he's also like a player. And then like, um, he's like a, ta a, a antagonist to Steve, but then he's a player. Right? I didn't want all the players to be united. That'd be very boring. I want them all to fight each other. I want everyone to fight each other. <laughs> Okay, I think it's not long enough. Long enough. How oh, can you be? A Are you my enemy? Are you my enemy? Are you my enemy? You better not. You better subscribe and like my video. Okay, bye.